Now to that breaking news word this morning that Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin is currently in critical condition at a hospital in Cincinnati. He collapsed on the field in front of millions of viewers last night during the game against the Bengals. Players could be seen kneeling on the field in prayer as the ambulance rushed Hamlin to the hospital. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu is live outside NFL headquarters in Midtown Manhattan with what we're learning. Janice. Good morning, Ken. Yeah, such a horrifying thing to have to see out on the field. Now, uh, like you mentioned, Hamlin is in critical condition. Uh, the Buffalo Bills releasing a statement earlier this morning uh, saying that he is currently sedated. Now, they say that he suffered a cardiac arrest and that his heartbeat was restored on the field and he was taken to the hospital. The 24 year old safety played college football in Pittsburgh and was drafted by the Bills in 2021. Now, it was a chilling scene during Monday night's Big game between the Bills and Cincinnati Bengals, Cincinnati Bengals as Hamlin collapsed shortly after a tackle. We have decided to not show that footage, but it appears he was hit in the head and chest. His teammates and members of the Bengals were visibly upset, some crying as first responders performed CPR. They later went to the hospital as they waited for any updates. Meanwhile, fans also gathered near the emergency room entrance. ESPN reporter Lisa Salters was on the field as all of of this unfolded. The way that the players, all of the players, the Bills and the Bengals, the way they formed a human wall around DeMar Hamlin, that that let me know there that this was not uh, just another injury, that there, there was there were things going on mm -hmm. uh, behind that human wall that we shouldn't be seeing. They were trying to respect that young man's privacy and rightfully so. The NFL says their focus right now is on Hamlin's health and not on reschedul rescheduling that game. Live outside of the NFL headquarters in Midtown, Janice U Channel 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Janice, thank you. Meantime, fans on social media began to share a GoFundMe link that Hamlin set up back in 2020 to raise money for a toy drive in his hometown in Pennsylvania. Fans have donated more than $3 million overnight. You know what the original goal was? 2300 or 25 or rather hundred dollars three million because of the hearts of fans Hamlin posted this video on his Instagram page Christmas time of the third annual toy drive